In iOS 7, we also have a new camera application. So the camera application is uh, redesigned, uh, nicely fits the uh, bigger iPhone 5 screen. And on the bottom here, uh, we can scroll across the different modes of the camera. So we have a video, photo, square, which gives us a nice uh, square photo, and pano for panoramic. And so let's go to photo. And uh, we have a really easy um, HDR toggle right here. Uh, in previous versions, uh, the HDR, you had to go into your settings and then turn it off uh, if you wanted it off or on. And then sometimes it would automatically turn back off and then you wouldn't know. And so none of that mess anymore. Uh, the HDR toggle is right here, really easy to press. When it's blue, it's on. When it's not blue, it's off, basically. So we still have tap to focus. Uh, and then I really like um, how it takes the photo, how fast it is. Uh, basically, in older versions with the HDR, as you know, the HDR um, takes a little longer to save the photo. When you uh, hit the shutter, there's a little circle that goes around that circle, if you notice, the, the shutter. A little, a, I said that completely weird. A circle that goes around the shutter button. So that indicates the saving of the HDR photo. What I did not like about the previous versions was that when you hit the shutter, it kind of like, like obstructs everything and says saving HDR. Uh, I don't know if you remember that, but uh, I found that really annoying, especially when you wanted to take multiple photos. So now taking multiple photos is simple. Um, you still cannot take photos as fast with HDR on, but uh, at least it's not very obtrusive, you know, a big message saying saving HDR. Uh, I found that a little obtrusive in previous versions, so that is no longer there. With the square, you can still have HDR on. It just takes a square photo. And then video, you know, again, works as you would expect. And then we still have a shutter button so you can take pictures during your video. Now, uh, the classic shutter animation, they took that away. And now when you tap the shutter, it just kind of like blinks. Down here in the bottom right, we now have live effects for the camera. So you can preview all the effects live. And so say I like this chrome effect, I can switch to that and I can see what that looks like and take a picture using that effect. If I go back here, I could turn the effects off. The effects can be used for photo and square settings. You cannot use an effect for panoramic or video. Now the panoramic works just like, uh, and previous versions. This is a terrible panoramic I'm taking. There you go. And then when you uh, hit this little preview down here, it brings up your uh, photos that you took, your camera roll, you know, just like in previous versions. So nothing new there. So let's go back to the camera. Oh, we're on the camera. Oh, done. Okay. So there we are. And then at the top, this is a switch to switch to uh, the front camera. Hello. So there we are. Switch back to the back camera. And then in the left, we have our flash settings. And again, flash can be used for uh, video, photo, square, but not the panoramic. So that is the new iOS 7 camera application. Check out our other iOS 7 videos in the iOS 7 playlist.